Hello, it's Eliza Batten here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Long story short, if you follow me on Instagram, you may remember that towards the end of last year, I started a secondhand shopping series on my Instagram stories. And I just thought I'd give it a bit of a glow up, edit it into proper episodes and put it on YouTube. Now the majority of this video was actually filmed last week and then I got COVID. So I'm filming the intro and the outro in my bedroom where I've been isolating now for a week. It's been testing, but I actually just got my voice back today, which is why I've jumped on here to finish the video. I've actually always been into secondhand shopping. I love charity shops, I love trawling eBay. I've had my own Depop account now for four years. More recently that I've got into investment secondhand shopping, so buying quality designer pieces, but for a much more affordable price. So this first episode is in Sign of the Times, which is one of my favorite secondhand shops. It's just off the King's Road, probably about an eight minute walk from Sloan Square. Something worth noting, the clothes I try on, I attempt to keep as varied as possible particularly when it comes to price points because everyone watching this has a different budget and I like to try and show a bit of bit you know a bit for everyone so I will try and pick out lower price point item as well as a higher price point item but each shop is different as well in what they offer and actually that leads me nicely on to secondhand shopping can actually be really frustrating it's a blessing and a curse one week you can go to a shop and everything's your style and your size at price points that suit you and a few weeks later you go to the same shop and the stock is totally different nothing fits nothing's your taste the stock is constantly evolving because everything's one-off piece I just think that is what makes it far more exciting far more of a fun activity and also so much more satisfying when you find the piece that fits and you love but anyway film this last week and let's go holding the camera in the mirror makes me feel very professional um excuse my washing up there. I am wearing my Vita Grace roll neck. It actually has a bit of makeup on, but I'm too scared to wash it. Um, any advice? I've got my Burberry trench on secondhand from Sophie shop, which I'll have to do an episode on. My sign of the times bag. Um, it's a Prada Galeria mini black one. Um, jigsaw high knee boots and Zara leggings. I'm actually gonna make a quick stop en route to Lexi London, which is one of my favorite London brands. I have some of my, <clears throat> excuse me, all time favorite summer dresses from there. And I'm gonna go get a winter skirt. So I'll show you that as well. I've just been into Lexi London picked up a skirt, a blouse, and a really pretty summer dress, which I'll try on later. But anyway, on the way to Sign of the Times, it's just off the King's Road, and it has been around, I want to say for 45 years, which is very impressive. My mum actually used to shop here when she was my age, so it proves how old it is. Sorry, mum. I'm not used to this whole vlogging in the street thing. People keep looking at me, and I feel really embarrassed, but just gotta get used to it be as shameless as I can anyway here we go selection as I always do when I'm here. I'm gonna start off with a couple of jackets while I'm dressed and then I put together some outfits. Oh my gosh the first thing I'm trying on and I already want it. Um, this is Iro. it's a sheepskin gilet, um, it's £560 which you know is a big investment but it is beautiful and I just feel you could chuck it over anything not just jumpers but you could chuck it over coats um, yeah I love it. Excuse my ring light. No idea what brand this is because I think the tag's fallen out. Or is it in the pocket? Hang on. Oh, here it is. It is Burberry. £670, but such a beautiful tartan cape. This sheepskin rag and bone fleecy jacket is so lush. 
Um, I am looking for a fleece, but I think I'm looking for a three quarter zip fleece. So the search continues. Right, I turned the lights off so you could sort of see the shimmer. Um, this is a Celeron black blazer. Um, and look at these stars. Hang on, I'm probably better off turning it around. With gold stars. Sick. Yeah, this is very, very cool tuxedo jacket. And it is a size 10, 450. Right, now let's get some full outfits going. I like to try and mix up the value of the items I show you. So obviously there's a lot of high-end stuff in sign of the times, but here's a more affordable outfit. Um, these dungarees are Maria Della Orden. They're 65 quid, they're really cool corduroy, love the block colours, and this is a Ganny shirt, my favourite type of big Peter Pan collar, um, 90 pounds. And then I've done two options on the feet. These are just cute little boots. I actually can't remember their brand. Um, but I did see them online, so I'll try and find the link. And then some dual trainers, which obviously make the outfit a little bit more of an investment. Um, but I love this outfit. Seriously, seriously cute. This is a stunning dress from Templey London. Anything with a metallic thread, I'm all for. I love these ruffles, I love the high neck. Um, I am not wearing any shoes. I actually did a week's work experience at Templey London after GCSEs and I used to love trying on all their dresses. It is one of my favourite brands for sort of feminine, beautiful dresses. Right, I thought I would mix it up with a bit of a funky outfit. We've got this really hot pink Stella McCartney roll neck. It's brand new with tags. I wanna say it's 140 pounds. I can't remember, I'll have to double check. Then we have this beautiful lilac Love Shack Fancy cardigan for 240. Um, I'm gonna have to double check all these labels. And then I thought, how funky is this knitted Marnie mermaid tail skirt? Let me zoom in. Um, and I've done two shoe options. The little wintry boots, if you just wanna embrace the winter, with tights recommended. Or these black dual boots that I couldn't put on properly. Um, pure laziness. What a funky skirt. I love it. Oh, and then one more thing just to elevate it even more shove on this purple carbon uh, puffer. I literally just looked at the label. Why can't I remember the price? I have a wintry uh, outfit. I actually really like the sort of clash here. We've got these Missoni trousers uh, for 180 pounds. They are the comfiest things ever. Again, with two shoe options. Um, and this golden goose jumper for 140. But the colors, you can see that the colors are similar tones, um, so it sort of works and just makes me want to go skiing. Shove on top a Max Mara Teddy Gilet. Um, this is £890. That's Max Mara for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> but holy moly, this is a comfy, cozy winter outfit. I sort of wish this would portrait. Hang on, turn your screen now. There we go. <laughs> Wicked. So now we have this beautiful Zimmerman blouse. Zimmerman is one of my all-time favourite brands. It's stunning, all the details. Um, and I've paired it with these paper bag leather trousers from Kate. Kite? Kate? Um, anyway, and some black booties. Um, I am looking for leather trousers, the perfect paper bag leather trousers. Unfortunately, these are slightly out of my budget. Um, at they're nearly 600 quid, I think, so not for me, but they are epic. Ever so slightly too big, unfortunately, but no, really cool. Then I'm just gonna shove on some things on top. Hang on. Love this V-neck sweater vest from Anne Daughter. Um, it makes the outfit slightly more casual. I like how the little details come out from, oh, I forgot to turn on the lights. Hang on. There we go, I feel like we need to start again. Didn't even notice. Will it refocus, there we go. And then one more thing, one more. And just to prove the versatility of this gilet, I mean, you can literally shove it over anything and it just makes the outfit instantly cool, um, elevates it totally. The colors all work really nicely. Sorry, the rail behind is getting more and more disarrayed. Um, I love this outfit. I'm such a beige gal. I just, when in doubt, all beige. 
um, problem being by myself, can't do them up. This is a Sandro top, it is beautiful. Oh, I forgot the price. Sorry, I'm useless at this. I'm out of practice, hang on. I'm not gonna get it. Um, I'll have a look after. And these awesome paper bag Stella McCartney trousers. They're quite oversized, but I don't hate that look. I just think it's effortless. Um, I mean, they fit around here. I really like the white detail. I like the seams um, and I've just paired it with the dual trainers and I'm just gonna shove on a fleece because I think it will just look really cool. Unfortunately, the tone is slightly off. Can you see how these are pinkier beiges and this is a sort of yellowy tone, so it doesn't quite work. Let's try again. Oh, this goes with everything. I hate it because I love it so much. Um, it goes with everything. Awesome. Ooh, one more, one more. That's so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Or, what do you think of that? Do you know what, this is where the tartan actually comes into its own and actually really spices up this outfit. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Really feeling it. Hang on, one more, one more, one more. One more. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh. Come on, come have a look. This is the thing, I'm just so obsessed with an all beige outfit because you can just shove anything on top and it just automatically looks chic. When in doubt, beige it out. I love, I was only introduced to Dion Lee not that long ago actually, and it's very cool structured stuff. Um, I tried it on when I was last here and then it got snapped up, um, but it's back and I might have to. It's just cool. I mean, I don't have anywhere to wear it. Um, if someone could invite me to a really funky party, that would be good. A little quick shout out to this very sweet Sandro top with pearl details. So cute. Um, and I'm going to shove on a leather jacket. This Celerant studded jacket is so chic. Little pocket. Um, yeah. I forget, this is from Anderson and it's £142. So, the story behind this outfit, um, I actually just picked up this skirt from around the corner from Lexi London. Oh shit, my battery's low, hang on. My battery died. Um, so, I'm not even sure if I got that last clip, so I'll just redo it just in case. This is a Neen Bing, it's £164. It's khaki army jacket, so useful in spring and autumn when it is chilly but not cold enough for a coat and then this skirt is Lexi London which I picked up around the corner before coming here so I got it out my little bag there um, and as I was saying this blouse you can see the green and the orange and they just pick out it picks out perfectly both so it really brings the outfit together and some Ganny army chunky welly boot-esque things love it and another army jacket this one's slightly more military vibes, as in it's a bit more realistic. Um, I've got the shirt underneath, but it actually has that really cool cut out there. Um, anyway, now that my battery's done, I suppose I'm done. Time to tidy up. So that's a wrap. Um, I think I'm gonna get the sheepskin gelée. Um, I've asked them to hold it and I'm gonna think about it. Um, but otherwise these are all up for grabs. I'm really considering this as well. I love it. Um, and this Sandro top is so beautiful for £98. Um, so yeah, tough call though. Oh, also, I forgot to film at the beginning. Simon the Times has two floors. So this is downstairs, which actually I think has more, it's more casual wear. Upstairs is for coats and dresses. As I was leaving, there was a very, very well-dressed, glamorous lady looking at the Chanel bag, which is so beautiful. It's this sort of caramelly, beigey colour. And if you're in the market for Chanel bag, it has to be that one with gold hardware. Um, anyway, obviously couldn't 
grab it out of her hands to get a picture but i did take a picture last time i was there so i'll overlay it here so you can see it um i hope she gets it because if you have you know if you're in the market for it and you've got the budget that is it it's so beautiful um anyway what a success i loved all those outfits and i've come out and it's a beautiful sunny day i'm gonna have a little wander and then head back to the desk i'm also a little pooed off that my um camera ran out of battery that was my christmas present i charged it overnight as well maybe i was just filming too much anyway boring boring i will recharge it and close this video at home i think just like the professional youtubers do i hope you enjoyed that first episode i look forward to visiting more shops for future ones please leave anything in the comments that you want to see more of or if you have any questions and yeah i suppose what do people say they say like and subscribe <laughs> oh and i have to confess she came home with me. I had quite a generous voucher actually. So I think, what was it? It was 560. I had 350 pounds spend. So it cost me 210 pounds, which is, you know, 210 pounds. It's a lot of money for a gilet. But as we saw there, it works with so many outfits and I now try and buy something. And if I can't style it 10 ways, I don't keep. So I can style this a hundred ways.